Hi there guys, in this video we're going to do something a little bit different than we normally do on the channel. Uh, this video we're going to have a look at an unboxing video. This time we're going to actually unbox uh, a new AMD Ryzen 7 1700 processor. This is an 8 core chip that runs at around about 3 gigahertz with a boost of around about 3.7. So unlike the 1700X and the 1800X, this comes with a stock cooler. It is said to actually not be too bad and it actually has RGB on it surprisingly. But we'll have a look at that later. So for the time being I'm just showing you around the box and you can see down the bottom it says it includes the heatsink. Uh, this did make it a little bit better for value for money because I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it. So this, um, have a look at the chip, I don't know if you can quite see that that well. Uh, I kind of haven't got a lens on for actually focusing really closely on the actual processor. Uh, like I said, so that may not come out particularly well. So uh, first things first, this actually unbox this chip and see what it's like. So for this I normally use this screwdriver uh, and I'll just go in a little bit. I prefer actually doing this than the knife because uh, it doesn't go in too deep and it just cuts the actual label. So as you can see on top of the box it is the 1700. Uh, like I said it is best value for money so I'm trying to open this box without actually ripping it to pieces um, so anyway uh, in the inside you can see we've got a heat sink on the right hand side and the chips kind of squashed in on the left so let's have a look at the stock cooler first um, this is obviously the big bit in the box and it seems to be wedged in a little bit uh, like I said it does come with RGB which is quite surprising for a stock cooler you wouldn't see necessarily Intel doing such things uh, so the next little bit I want to get out is the chip which is in this little box that's been shoved here. So you can see here there's the actual chip and it has a little protective box for it. So that should keep it here quite safe. So let's uh, unbox the actual cooler. So let's uh, unbox this cooler and have a look at it. It said it's actually not a too bad a cooler and it does save you a bit of money especially if you've got to buy a cooler for the 1700X or the 1800X. Uh, you'll probably go for an all-in-one water solution which is probably going to be better but it depends what you're going to do with it but for the time being this looks more than capable of actual fan and heatsink. It looks actually quite a bit bigger than that you see on the Intel counterparts. Uh, so the fan f spins pretty freely. Uh, we've got paste on the bottom already pre-applied, that's a nice touch, which should make it a lot easier. Uh, what, one thing I do like on this cooler is it isn't in push pins. I've had a hell of a problems in the past with those. Uh, we also have an RGB cable up here, so this is if your motherboard supports it. Um, this goes into this little connector right up the top here. Uh, I think you can just about make it out. So that allows you to actually use the RGB. Uh, if you don't, I think just the AMD LIGO lights up. Um, but anyway, so that's the cooler. So the next thing to do is have a look at the processor. Uh, as you can see, it's in another separate box. So if we undo this one, uh, it's just got some more stuff. So it's in a little protective wallet sort of thing. And we got a certificate of authentication. So this should keep the chip very safe. Uh, as you can see, it's got actual pins. I can show that a little bit later for you. Um, so all in all, it looks pretty well protected. Um, you've got, I've got a little sticker there if you want to put it on the box. As you can see, like, it's in a kind of um, kind of easy to open uh, plastic box. Sometimes they can be sealed and they could be a nightmare to actually get undone, but that should be pretty easy. So one thing I just wanted to show you that Horizon processors have pins on the processors and not in the motherboards. So just take a little bit more care with the processors themselves. Uh, you don't want to damage or bend one of those pins. But overall it shouldn't be that tricky. Anyway, so I know this is not a video I normally cover and something that I wanted to try and see what sort of interest there is. Hopefully the video has helped you if you was interested in actually seeing an unboxing video of the Horizon processor. Uh, one thing it does help if you could like and subscribe. Take care and have fun out there.